Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for my first ever Sims 3 stuff pack review. Yes, it is my first ever. This pack is called the Sims 3 Movie Stuff Pack, and it came out on September 10th. But as many of you may know, I wasn't here. I was actually in Hawaii with my fam bam, so I didn't really get the chance to review it then. But I figured it's better late than never, so I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys today. Um, I'm not really into stuff packs. I don't know what it is. I never felt like they were really complete or had enough you know, objects for me really to purchase them. But this one is priced at $19.99, US dollars that is. And I figured, you know what, for the sake of doing a review and showing you guys this pack, um, I decided to go ahead and pick this up today. So we are just going to go ahead and and jump straight on in. I did decide to include the uh, loading screen for you guys. Some of you, that's really important for some others, don't really care, it's just a loading screen. My personal take on it is it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it to death. And what I'm noticing so far, because I did get a chance to look at this pack, um, there's a lot of stuff in here you could use for just more than making movies for The Sims. Like, don't let the title fool you. You could get a lot of use out of this pack. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and cut to the chase and jump into Create a Sim. Okay, so we are going to start out with the dudes and their duds. But first, I just want to let you know that this stuff pack is actually kind of like a three-in-one deal as advertised. There are three different themes to this pack. Western, superhero, and my personal favorite, horror. So you'll notice that with the clothing that there are three very distinct styles. So just, you know, throwing that out there. So we're going to start off with the hair for the men. Um, we've got some cowboy hats. I was really hoping um, for these when I was looking at the, uh, or when I was reviewing the folk life or folk farm folk set. I was like, dude, we need some freaking cowboy hats. So finally, we have them. I love them. So I'm assuming this is for like the superheroes kind of thing. I don't know what this is. What is this like? Uh, I forgot. Oh, girl. Oh, no. I forgot. What is it? Peacock. There you go. Peacock. Little peacock masks. Then we have a freezer bunny man, which I love. This is probably my favorite. Um, I really love these hats. They're so cute. And I would love to work with these for like seasons even, like costume parties and things like that. You could get a lot of use out of these. Um, so now we have like, you know, the evil brain man. It's very cool. And um, you can actually change like the colors of the helmets and things like that. Very nice. Here we are with the more Western theme again, and I'm assuming maybe this is some sort of like fur hats. Playing Captain Obvious here, this looks like a little skunk. Kind of like this one. Maybe for your more like wild and wilderness slash rugged sims, that would be appropriate. So that is all for the caps, I believe, and there are no new um, hairs in this particular pack, so that kind of sucks, but we are gonna go and jump into the clothing really fast. I'm not going to show you the elder stuff just because it's pretty much the same-ish, but on an old person, you know, and there's nothing for the toddlers, which kind of sucks, but whatever. As for individual items, I didn't really notice anything, but Jennifer is trying to be as thorough as possible, so if I do forget something, sue me. Anyways, in the everyday full outfits, we have a ton of new, like, doodads and things for the guys. Uh, we obviously have our, ooh, our sexy little cowboy outfits. Love them, love them, love them. Um, there is so much you can do with this stuff, you guys. I can't stress it enough. Pets, uh, you know, you know, for the... Um, like kind of like horror stuff, Moonlight Falls even. Um, I mean, there's just a ton, a ton of things you can do with these things. So these are just a few of the outfits. I do believe this is kind of like Western because there's a little, you know, like bull on the belt buckle. But this could also be um, kind of like Moonlight Falls-ish. I'm assuming this could be horror. I don't know. This looks very interesting to me. The bow tie makes it I don't know, a little less scary. It's kind of like Beetlejuice meets Frankenstein. You know what I mean? A little bit like that. Okay, so this outfit here is definitely horrifying. Um, I'm <laughs> not really sure why a guy needs to wear a garter belt, but you know what? I am not here to judge at all. It's very interesting. You know, I'm, I don't know. Maybe this dude has some sort of weird fetish. I, 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 I don't, I don't know. Um, 
It's very interesting. Uh, and then this is like some Dr. Evil clothing. I really like these. These are fun. Uh, and then we have our traditional superhero. We have Mr. Peacock Man. Uh, more Peacock Man and more Peacock Man. So lots of Peacock Man. And um, well, I'm just having so much fun with this. We got Llama Guy. Very cool. I really like these like superhero outfits a bunch. Um, and then this is Sir Bunny Freezer. Okay, there we go. Or Freezer Bunny, my bad. Uh, let me see what else we got going on. And then this is just some kind of like, kind of technical looking, tech techy little outfit, I guess. Perfect for Into the Future, I think. So there are a ton of like everyday outfits for you guys if you are interested, you know, just using your imagination and I don't know, running with it, I guess. I'm not really a fantasy kind of person but I am so like loving this pack like <gasps> can you tell by the like enthusiasm in my voice uh we finally get cowboy boots high five Ugh, EA thank god I, I love these these are so cool I'm sure we have them already but I just I love these ones even more so uh we have some boots that go with the horror outfits obviously these are western and then I think this one here matches our little Freezer Bunny Man outfit perfectly. We got more like space boots. I love these. They're so detailed. Okay, and then this one probably goes with maybe the llama outfit. This is obviously Peacock Man's, you know, botas or whatever. Um, and then we have this. And then for like the technical or techie outfit, you have that. So I think that's pretty much it for the guys. I kind of feel like I'm missing something. Why do I feel like I'm missing something? I don't really think there was anything in the accessories. I showed you guys the hairs. So I think, oh, that's about it. But yeah, I wanna go and show you guys the young adults are pretty much the same. We let go. Um, and then the teenager stuff, let's go ahead and take a peek and see if there's anything in there for you guys. I'm pretty sure a lot of the hairs and stuff would be pretty similar. Um, yeah, so you have a lot of like the same hats and stuff that you got um, previously for your older guys. Just a few of them look like they're different, like you don't have the peacock stuff but yeah you have pretty much the same thing and this would be really fun for a costume party or you know if you are into the storytelling thing which I totally am I would recommend these alrighty uh we're gonna jump in to the full outfits and see if there's anything new there as well so it appears like you don't get as wide of a selection and this outfit is just amazing, but you do get a few um, of the new pieces available for your teens, so that's not too shabby. I really like this one. This kind of reminds me of Power Rangers for some reason, and let me tell you, I was the Red Power Ranger every day, all day. That's right, I love it. So this is totally me. Um, if you know guys don't know, I was into superheroes and I was into all that as a little girl. In fact, I think my ballet class consisted of me using my tutu as Batman's cape and running around like I was the baddest boss in that classroom. Needless to say, um, I didn't return anymore. My mom was embarrassed, but hey, I had fun. <laughs> so here are some cool caps or hats for your boys. This kind of reminds me of like Sonic the Hedgehog a little bit, like, you know, Tails or whatever, but these are really fun. Um, cool. I like those. So let's see if there's anything in the outfit arena. I'm not 100% sure, but we can go ahead and take a peek. Um, I'm only seeing, oh, I see a few things. So this right here, oh, I guess this is like a bat then. Kind of looks like it could be a cat too, I suppose, but this is like a bat outfit. So you have these two to choose from, which is pretty cool. No, maybe this is like super squirrel or something. I have no idea. This looks like a squirrel. Anyway, you can use your imagination on that. Uh, cool. So we got a few new things. Let's see if there's any new zapatos. Um, see, there is. We got some of these boots. Pretty fancy little botas for the kids. Cool. Um... Yeah, I think that's pretty much all there is on that. And there isn't anything for the toddlers. So we can go ahead and we can move on to the ladies. Yes, ma'am. Okay. 
So we're jumping into the hair. I know there is a few new hairstyles for the little girls, which I'm pretty damn excited about, must I say. Um, I'm always looking for new hairstyles. Y'all know that. Like, hair to me is like... I need the hair. <laughs> I need the payload. I just, I can't stand having 25 Sims in a room and they all got the same too. That, that is Shane Q, you know? So we have this one here. I love it. It's kind of very wispy and very flowy and puffy and it looks really good. I like this one a lot. Um, this is a little confusing. This is kind of what my hair looks like after I stick it in a ponytail, after I've straightened it and woke up the next morning. Kind of looks like I got a lecture bucuted. Electrocuted, electrocuted. <laughs> um, but then we have it without the little wispies, and it just looks even more stranger, <laughs> I guess. I don't like those, as you can tell. But the storytelling, I'm sure they are fine. Okay, so hats and hair, or hair with accessories, my mistake. We have a lot of Western little caps with the hat and, uh, you know, Yankee Doodle's little feather, if you can see it. There you go. Very nice. I really like these. Like, if you want to have, like, a uh, classical party or something, or, you know, if you have, like, a western resort, this would definitely be cool. Um, we have more of those weird haircuts or hairstyles with the big old feather up top, if you can see it in the reflection of the mirror. Excuse this lady's outfit. Like, seriously, her chata is all just hanging out. Um, this one is really awesome. I like this a lot. It kind of reminds me of something Indian-ish. I don't know why. Uh, but this veil could be used for many different things, including when your sims, sims get married. At least that's the first thing I think of anyhow. I want to see if you can actually change the color of the veil. You can. So if you wanted, you can make it like this, like white. See? Looks a little weird. Looks like she's a grandpa's handkerchief on a head, but you can make it work. But, um, so that's kind of cool. Let's go ahead and see what else there is. My game is just being a pain in the coolito right now. Okay, there we go. There we go. It likes when I talk, you know, talk sassy to it. <laughs> All right, so for superhero hats, we have these. Um, very cool. Very, like, reminds me of Hercules, if you guys have seen that movie. I don't know. I love it. These hats are crazy. This is like Superwoman or Super, Super Sim Woman, I guess, or Super Sim. I don't know, whatever. But uh, these are really fun. I love this. Um, here is a, just some more casual style from the side. But then you get the, these big whopping flowers. It would have been cool to see this maybe without the flowers, you know? But I, I kind of like it. Girl needs to trim her bangs, but it's not too shabby. Um, and then we have kind of like this freezer bunny style over here. I like that. Um, all different colors and such. And then more of these kind of like face mask sort of things. Um, of course, we have the Brainiac hat. <laughs> this one creeps me the hell out. Like, I am not going to lie. I don't like that. But anyways, those are the few selections that you have. You really do get a lot for the women. Um, I'm just going to go put this lady back in my favorite hairstyle, this one here. And we are going to go check out the everyday clothing. Okay, so we get a couple single pieces, which is kind of cool. We didn't get that for the guys. At least I don't think we did. Um, the shirt is pretty much the same and just some different types of patterns. You get only one. You do get a couple new bottoms, which is kind of fun. Um, you get these really uh, rustic western-y pants. And then, of course, if you're not feeling, you know, the restriction of jeans, you can always pop yourself into a skirt and make it match quite nicely. I really need to get into the habit of filtering this crap out because I have tons of custom content and it's just making my computer so slow. Um, not to mention it's a lot easier to filter through. Okay, so uh, full outfits. As you can see, we've got a few different new things here. Um, I guess we can start with the dresses. So here we are. Obviously, y'all know this is Western. Um, we have some more like pretty, like princessy, puffy dresses that you could really use as wedding um, attire if you really wanted to. Um, I love these ones the most. I think they're gorgeous. Again, I've had had a chance to look at this pack, so if it's like I'm not that impressed at first, it's because I've already oohed and awed a thousand times. But I like to make sure everything's installed correctly and it, it's all there, so there's no surprises in the middle of my review, and then you don't hear a whole bunch of bleeping and swearing because that could happen. So. Look how sexy this is. My, my, my. We got the corset, the ruffles, the bows. Girl is looking fly in her time. And then we have my favorite color combination here. You could even use this for like horror if you wanted to. 
Um, it sounds like I'm saying horror, but horror <laughs> if you wanted. Um, maybe some formal witch attire or witch attire, just period. That'd be cool. Yeah, we have some more crazy, like, little things. This kind of reminds me of, like, Edward Scissorhands or some sort of crazy, like, I don't want to say it, but yeah. Anyways, Edward Scissorhands. Mm -hmm. And then this is the uh, kind of, like, horror, um, horror dresses, which I really like. If you guys can see the detailing, how this is see-through. I don't know if you can see that. That is so cool. I really like like anything translucent. I love it. Uh, so then we have some more dresses here. Oh, I love these. Like perfect for your witches. Like how awesome is this? I love these outfits, especially because like I can just see my Sims using these, like my witch Sims or my zombie Sims. Ah, this is awesome. I like it. Okay, so this one's like girl ran out of fabric, <laughs> so she decided just to put all the scraps together and make herself a fancy dress. But yeah. Here we are. Um, and then we're going into the superhero outfits. Like, oh, my, 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 girl. Sexy. Look at her little cape. <laughs> I love this. Um, yeah, I like this a lot. Okay. And then this is like the, like, kind of like Wonder Woman, I guess, right? It's, yeah, something like that. Superwoman, Wonder Woman, whatever. Um, this kind of reminds me of, like, some sort of Greek goddess. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Then we have a few other ones here. Kind of reminds me of Sailor Moon, actually. I'm just reliving my childhood <laughs> completely through this. This is awesome. Uh, this is kind of cool. I can see where the headband came in. Um, maybe Flower Girl. This outfit is also extremely sexy and slightly, slightly uncomfortable looking. Um, we have more superhero outfits here. Pretty cool. And the last one is this here. And oh my goodness. Oh, I love this. This kind of reminds me like of a fairy or something. The color combination on this is killer. I love that. Okay. So we're going to go into the shoes and see what options we have there. Um, quite a few. Quite a few. We have these little kind of small little heel shoes with the bow. Very nice little detailing. Of course, you got your boots. And this could even go with this outfit if you wanted. Um, or these pretty nice dude I'm really excited okay and uh, let me see we have these ones down here pretty nice and then I think the last ones oh excuse me actually match this outfit perfectly so yeah those are all the new choices I'm just gonna double double check no, no, what are that <laughs> I'm gonna double check damn girl the accessories nothing new there okay so let's go back and see what is for the teen girl sims well, if there's any options there to be had i don't know um so it looks like we get the pretty much the same hairstyles as we saw before and everyday outfits don't look like there's any of the singles here um for full attire we do kind of get looks like a piece from each collection so we got the really cool dress, which I love. Um, obviously, we're not going to have that sexy outfit in here. That'd be a little risque. But we do get a few of the options. So don't fear your teen sims are not left out. <laughs> and then let's just jump into the children for the last and final. <gasps> oh, I love your hair. Gold Sam, look at those locks. Okay, wow. Where? Oh, my. That's really pretty. Um, That did not come with this. But, yeah, let me actually see if any of the hairstyles did come with it. No, it doesn't look like they did. Um, I didn't check the teen masks, but I'm pretty sure you probably get the same different variations. And, uh, again, the same kind of like bat or fox hats. I don't know. You be the judge. Um, obviously this isn't a bat, but it could be a squirrel and this could be a bat. I don't know. Whatever. But you get the same things here. And last but not least, let's check out the clothing, shall we? And see what our, our little gals get. Um, these actually do look different here. So you get this kind of little outfit, which I love, the, the sleeves. And you get um, the outfit that kind of goes with this hat there. So let me just double check the female teens because I'm probably not going to be able to rest until I know for certain that there isn't anything different in those excuse me neighbors they're like starting up their truck and it's like very loud um but let me just double check really fast because i don't think i looked in the hat section okay so here we are so yeah you get the same 
same stuff right, so pretty we much. we're going to go ahead and jump into the each individual, I guess, collection or kind of like theme per se of this pack. But first, I just kind of want to show you all some random items. We have brand new vehicles, which is really exciting. I totally did not see that coming. Um, and I'm really happy they added them in, even though I don't know how like, I guess, traditional, not even traditional, but like how practical these vehicles are. But they are a ton of fun, a ton of fun to look at. And I could totally see my housewives just kind of letting loose with these bad boys. So we have the um, Vigilante Super Cycle, which is so sexy. I love this. It kind of reminds me of something from like Super Mario or very kind of like Hercules-esque. And then we have my all-time personal favorite, the Simmobile, aka Batmobile. Like look how amazing this beast looks. And if you look really close, it kind of looks like the... Um, the paint is sparkly. It's very nice. I love this a lot. And the detail on this is just amazing. Even inside, it's just really cool. You can tell that they spent a lot of a lot of time on this. And um, I love it. I love it a lot. Over here, um, you have some of my all-time favorite objects. And I was really pleased to see these. First of all, this is kind of just like a light, I guess. I really don't know what this does. But uh, it's kind of cool, you know. Maybe you could capture the world and, you know, kind of mind control everyone with this. I don't know, but it appears to me just to be a light. This is a outhouse, which I have been waiting for, waiting for, waiting for, forever, okay? Forever. And when Island Paradise came out and they came with the uh, all-in-one bathroom, I was like the closest thing to kind of like an outside porta potty that you could get um, get to anyway. And when I saw this, I'm like, sweet for my camping lots and just other things like that. This is perfect and it's functional, which I love. And then of course you have another one over here that's kind of like a. Uh, photo booth looking thing I mean it's a little strange <laughs> but it's definitely cute and yeah you can totally woohoo in this bad boy however I don't think the option is available on this but you could woohoo in this telephone booth aka uh, you know shower if you really wanted to I wanted to tell you guys real quick since I get a lot of questions um, how do I take photos of my sims well I start off with a box and I make it all white and then that way in Photoshop I can put just any random background or I'll kind of set up the background in this box and then I use this beast over here which is the pose player if you google it you'll find it and um, it's pretty self-explanatory from there so I'll just side, throw that out there really quick. All right, so which door should we pick? I don't know. Let's start with the Western theme. So you get a brand new saloon sign. Yes, you do. Which I'm thinking of like new um, bars or things like that. You could really make a cool like Western saloon. I think that'd be really fun. Like you can make these actual functional like places if you wanted to and kind of base them off each theme. So there's that and this is the brand new little door here over here you have some brand new um, pictures um, how to ride a horse if you're a little confused and uh, this is some wanted signs which actually looked like our sim earlier in create a sim so that's pretty cool I'm noticing a little glitch with my girl here her hair is like turning black but her hair is actually blonde like see it's blonde I don't know what's going on here but when you get closer it turns black I don't know but you get a cool new little um, dresser which is very nice and it could go in a bar if you wanted it to or whatnot but I really love this like the detail on this is just beautiful it's very old-fashioned love it and look at her she looks so saucy right here um of course you get a bar I mean this doesn't make like professional drinks or anything like that which kind of sucks but um you could just use whatever bar you have and then you could just throw in these um, really cool fancy bar stools that I love uh, I could be forgetting some items I hope I'm not but if I am sue me I am terribly sorry I am trying to do the best that I can uh we also have this end table over here which is kind of cool and um this brand new bed which I love I think the you know detailing on this is pretty sexy <laughs> and I just like I just love it it's just so cool I love dark kind of vampy like old looking things I guess if that's a category but I do like that kind of style and then of course we have a brand new rocking chair so if you don't have a rocking chair in your game this is a good way to go ahead and get one and you can actually rock with your babies and your toddlers in this it's just a lot of fun so 
I think that's it for the Western theme. Over here we have my personal favorites, and that's like the goth slash horror type of themed um, items. I don't know if you guys can see quite well, but this table here has like spider web kind of um, detailing. See, there you go. You can see it now, kind of. See? has like a spider web detailing. It's really hard to see if you can pick it up, but yeah, it definitely does. There's a brand new fireplace and look at the cobras. Like, aren't these so cool? I love these. Um, we have some new lamps, which are pretty fancy, like a wall lamp. Uh, if you need some more drapes, definitely have those and has like a little beetle slash spider detailing. Some cool new chairs and a bookshelf with these little like voodoo dolls or whatever on them pretty cool uh, and then we have some more stuff to sit your caboose on such as this fancy chair and a matching sofa here if you're not satisfied with all that we have some random jars full of eyeballs and brains and other scary things and then of course a fancy dancy end table that matches the fireplace to go with it how cool I think the last thing I have to show you guys in this set is this cool bed like love this bed so freaking much again love the woody woody I love the wood <laughs> love the woods the dark wood kind of accents just love it all it's nice and I, I love canopy beds or beds that have this on top like it makes you feel like you're in your own little space I never had one but I do like the way they look. So that is that. And then we have our little male model over here just fancy dancing it up. Two new doors. We have a spider door um, with cool little detailing that kind of matches everything. And then we have these doors here. This is kind of like more of like a sliding glass door to me. And this is more of like a front entry door. But yeah, that's that. And the last set I have to share with you guys is probably one of my most visually appealing sets um and it is the superhero i love it okay so for the doors i don't know if it shows but we have um these kind of like laser doors and they do a lot of cool things you can set the color to different types of um lasers see you got blue you can do like actually let's do something a little bit different let's do red see you could do so many cool things with these. Um, and uh, you can lock them and set them into your front door and things like that. So those are those. Then we have this cool little backdrop, which what I would have loved to have really seen is if you could interchange it and actually make this functional. But of course it's not. It's nothing but a big gigantic, basically a big painting. That just takes a lot of room. Don't really like that one too much. Um, we have a cool little chair for your evil villains or superheroes. And then we have this really fancy, smancy table that has like all the little targets as to where your, you know, villains are going. Or perhaps you have someone that you need to, you know, annihilate. You can find them here on this fancy dancy table. We have some um, like wall mural stuff. Like, hello, how is this like the most... I mean, like, oh, I mean, really, this is pretty risky, EA. Um, and this is in the children's section, mind you. And then we got Nalgitas Galore in this photo frame. But uh, I don't know who that is. Hitler, perhaps? Smitler? I don't know. This is interesting. <laughs> but of course, I love this. This is awesome. Like, look at this. And it actually works. And not to mention, <gasps> the targets, they're moving all the time which makes sense because that's kind of what targets do so yeah over here we have a new um kind of like dresser slash changing table <laughs> changing table you know what i mean changing area i guess and then you have another one over here so this is kind of cool they just look like different things i suppose um yeah, I like those. And then this is really fun. I think this is probably my favorite. It's like the uh, costume cabinet where you have all your weapons and different outfits and things like that. And it just looks very, very cool and fancy. And uh, I like the fact that it's very um, realistic looking, I think. I mean, for The Sims, it's pretty realistic. And uh, we have, I think, just one more thing. And it's this table here. And you can change them. I think those are just pretty much all llama tables. But yeah, I think that's pretty much about it. If I could rate the set out of a 5, I would give it a 4.5. There are a few things I would like to see, but based on the fact that this is for movie making and the themes are, you know, pretty spot on, I think it's worth it. I would totally buy this again. And um, even though I'm not really into, like, 
fantasy and won't be making using this pack for movie making i will use this like for my kids rooms you know like if so you have some sort of rich kid that loves superheroes this is perfect um or a grown-up that refuses to grow up perfect or you want to make like a um club for superheroes or you want to make some sort of hangout or whatever you could just totally use these things for different things and of course if you have a witch or you know some sort of like supernatural um sim this would be perfect to furnish the house with uh over here you know for anybody who lives in Appapalooza Plains you can make a cool little like western bar or you could use these for your saloons or your homes or things of that sort and of course I mean come on who doesn't love an outhouse? I love an outhouse. You could totally find use for all of these things, I think. And think outside of the movie making spectrum. I think this pack is worth it. Definitely for $19.99, I think it's worth it. So, of course, that is just my personal opinion slash overview. I would love to know what yours is in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about this pack and will you be purchasing it as well or Maybe not. I don't know. But anyways, I just wanted to do this for you guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to, you know, comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye-bye.